Good morning. A rainfall warning is in effect for Metro Vancouver and Vancouver Island this morning, and crews will be keeping a very close eye on the North Shore with new concerns following a weekend landslide. Andrea McPherson is live in North Vancouver this morning with more. Andrea. And Kyle, it's pretty calm at the moment, but that's all expected to change later on today. Up to 70 millimeters of rain is expected to fall in our region. Wind gusts of up to 70 kilometers of uh, kilometers an hour, I should say, also expected to make things uh, even more unstable in this area. Uh, what I can tell you is no one was hurt, no properties damaged yesterday when huge rocks began tumbling into the Seymour Canyon. Uh, more uh, bedrock, though, uh, that uh, sunk into the river. Uh, it created a bit of a dam. River levels rose, and uh, experts are really concerned about that at the moment as well. It doesn't seem like there's uh, any immediate emergency. The rocks are in the canyon. They're large. Uh, they're not moving. Uh, but uh, the water has backed up, and it's impacting some of our trail network up above. So we're just asking the public to stay away for a short time so that we can assess it. I've watched a lot of flooding on the other side, sandbagging, that kind of stuff. And um, if this were to let go, it would be, it would be disastrous, I believe. <laughs> it's a lot of water to come down all of a sudden. So the District of North Vancouver has shut down the Fisherman's Trail, the Baden-Powell Trail, as well as uh, Twin Bridges. This will be shut down until further notice. It's not safe for hikers to access through these gates behind me. Kyle. Andrew McPherson live for us this morning in North Vancouver. Andrea, thanks for that. Well, a man is in custody after a double stabbing in Surrey overnight. RCMP were called to a house on 80th Avenue near King George Boulevard at around midnight. Two men were found with non-life-threatening injuries and were taken to hospital. Police made an arrest several hours later. Animal health experts in B.C. are continuing to watch for any signs of avian flu spreading to other farms in the Fraser Valley. Five farms in Chilliwack and Abbotsford have now tested positive for the virus. 140,000 birds will be euthanized in an attempt to contain the outbreak. The virus does not pose a risk to people, but it spreads easily among birds. Seven countries have now placed restrictions on importing poultry from B.C. or Canada. A man accused of two cold case murders in B.C. is expected to appear in court later today. 67-year-old Gary Handlin was arrested in Surrey last week over the deaths of two young girls in the 1970s. He's facing first-degree murder charges in the killings of 11-year-old Catherine Mary Herbert and 12-year-old Monica Jack. Handlin, who no longer lives in B.C., is scheduled to make an appearance in Abbotsford Provincial Court. A video has been released by ISIS urging Muslims to launch attacks on Canadians. You have absolutely no right to live in a state of safety and security when your country is carrying out atrocities on our people. The man has been identified as John McGuire. He's a former your student from the University of Ottawa who converted to Islam and became radicalized. A U.S.-based group that monitors trends in the global jihadist movement says the so six-minute video was produced by the militant group ISIS, the but the federal government has not yet commented on its on authenticity. Portions of two major freeways in Los Angeles are shut down this morning as a massive fire burned in the downtown area. More than 250 firefighters are battling this blaze. The building was planned to be a tall residential structure, but it doesn't look as though anyone was living or working here when the flames broke out. Amazingly, considering the size of this inferno, there have been no reports of injuries. The cause is still under investigation. Prince William and his wife Catherine are on a three-day royal visit to the United States this morning. Will and Kate arriving at their hotel in New York City last night. Today, the Duke is heading to Washington, D.C., where he'll meet with U.S. President Barack Obama in the Oval Office to discuss illegal wildlife trafficking. Kate is going to stay in Manhattan. She'll visit a child development center tomorrow. They are going to pay a visit to the September 11th Memorial in Lower Manhattan. Tonight, though, they're expected to attend a basketball game between the Brooklyn Nets and the Cleveland Cavaliers.